Karen Dean, uh, the cop who shot a woman in her own home, has been charged with murder. He is out on a bond though. Uh, Dean's bond was set at $200,000 and jail records showed that he bonded out at 9 p.m. yesterday, Monday. Now, uh, this story is difficult uh, to even stomach because this cop was called uh, to the scene. There was a neighbor who had reported that uh, the victim's home had an open front door and they were concerned. So they call uh, the non-emergency line. And at this point, uh, Aaron Dean shows up. He goes into the backyard and based on body cam footage, which we're about to show you and it's extremely graphic, I wanna warn you. He just decides to open fire as soon as he sees a Tatiana Jefferson um, near the window. Okay, so I wanna show you uh, the police footage, uh, the body cam uh, footage, and then after that, I'm gonna give you some details on what the future could look like for this cop. Take a look. Put your hands up, show me your hands. So he opened fire without asking any questions, didn't even consider the fact that maybe the person who's by the window is the actual homeowner. And an innocent woman lost her life as a result of this disgusting behavior by Aaron Dean. Now, um, he has, he's no longer employed as a cop. Uh, apparently, he had resigned before he could get fired. And we have the police chief, Ed Krause, talking about that in this next clip. The officer who shot at Tatiana was served his written administrative complaint on Sunday. At that time, he was also placed on detached duty and stripped of his badge and firearm. My intent was to meet with him today to terminate his employment with the Fort Worth Police Department. However, the officer tendered his resignation this morning before we met. One other thing to mention is there was a child in the home at the time that this happened. Her eight year old nephew was in the home and even though the nephew watched her get shot and watched her die, he didn't have any physical injuries. Yeah, Mental so injuries, that, that, um, might be, that might be a psychological injuries, that yeah, might be a completely yeah, different Yeah, just imagine story. having to see that already. Um, so this police chief also, he spoke for a while in multiple different, uh, multiple days over this. And he's saying a lot of the right things. Um, and. It's actually, a, a, we talked before about people saying the right things and that being surprising, and this continues here. But um, I mean, I'm at the point now where, sure, cool, you're saying the right things. You're saying what you're gonna do. He's actually saying outside of where we feel so bad about it and this woman was innocent and all this stuff, and then saying we're gonna do something else about it. He said, he broke these uh, protocols that they have and we're gonna reinforce them with our officers from now on. Um, we need some check-ins. And not just with Fort Worth Police Department, but every time, any time this stuff happens, if you haven't had these incidents happen through the police department, we need some check-ins because mm -hmm. uh, we we don't look into things that happen when people get murdered by the cops. Uh, I was telling us, I think I was telling us to Brooke the other day, uh, if you worked at Subway and you're 16 years old and you kept giving away free avocados with footlongs, and the manager found out, you'd be fired. Oh, in a heartbeat. And then, uh, but if you were giving out free avocados and extra cheese to your buddies, and then the manager came in and said, yeah. It's okay. You know what happened? The rest of the people will be start going. I'm gonna give out free avocado and free cheese too, because I've, apparently there's no there's no uh, consequences for doing exactly what you told me not to do. In fact, you're probably uh, assisting me in doing it. So with cops, for some reason, this very important job, your minimum wage subway job, you'd get fired for it. For some reason, as a cop, you can come out shoot people, and then they'll go, Hey, you know what? We're gonna find several different ways to uh, to to. Take, let you off the hook for this. Take a picture of the room where the gun was so we can say that it was the victim's fault. Let's go through all of this to make sure, and the rest of the cops are looking and watching going, yeah, I'm scared every time I go out at night too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and shoot first because that's how it works here. Um, yeah, I wanna add one thing to that real sure quick. Um, I think you're absolutely right, but this goes to show you the power of certain unions, right? So. Those subway workers are not unionized. So they don't have the kind of defense or the kind of protection that these cops do. And who do you think is representing Dean, the cop who shot this innocent woman yeah. um, in this prosecution? It's literally the police union, they're representing him. So that type of protection allows for this type of behavior to continue and look, this is not, Unions are not inherently bad, they're not inherently good. It depends on the contract negotiations, it depends on what the unions are willing to protect workers for. In this type of case where it's literally about life and death, 
The idea of protecting someone who shoots an innocent woman in her own home without asking any questions is outrageous, right? And so there's that. And I think that there is this culture of police protecting one another at any and all costs. To work at enterprise, you gotta have a degree. You have to have a degree to, to rent a car for an enterprise because they they value their business, right? And that's just, uh -huh. this is so when I think about cops. I think about uh, misinformation and properly trained. Um, there's also these subcultures of white nationalism, which we don't like to speak about because it, it, it feels like a conspiracy theory. But then the FBI reports that the number of white supremacist groups infiltrating our law enforcement is real and not only real, but on the rise. Um, when you talk about people who are a, a currency in this country who were brought here and you, you, these are our ancestors and we talk about this all the time and we keep turning blue in the face when we talk about how the law enforcement is negligent when it comes to people of color and that is not a farce, that is not a theory, this is factual, it is reached an all time high. And then we talk about fear, right? So a lot of people, these politicians, these pundits, they don't really wanna go at the police and say, well, there are some good police officers because people are scared because then when you protest in Amber Geiger's case, then you end up dead. And then we have to sit here and continuously watch people of color being assassinated and exterminated and whatever the word is. And then you gotta wonder and ask yourself, did slavery really end? Is it really behind us? Are we really talking about free black people in America when a woman can't be in the house with her nephew, no questions asked, gets murdered? And we got the long list from the Sandra Blands to the, to the Michael Browns, and it is ongoing and continuous. And then we want to say, well, the cops are not properly trained. Police officers are afraid for their lives. That is your freaking job. Your job is to protect and serve. When I hear cops, people talk about, well, we trying to get home safe. That's not what you signed up for. If you want to get home safe, then deliver for FedEx. You don't sign up to be law, law. You don't hear military people saying, I'm just trying to get home safe. And they got to go fight wars from people who are trained and, and it is designed to murder them. And they don't come back with that excuse. You don't ever hear that from the military. You hear it from law enforcement. Well, I, my job is to get home safe. To, no, your job is to protect. Your job is for me to get home safe to my children. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you sign up for. That's what you get a pension for. That's what you get paid for. It is not for you to get home safely. And until you start signing up the people who think like that for law enforcement, we're going to continue to have this sure. infection. And black people and brown people, keep putting your dollars into these politicians and your votes who support this foolishness. You are continuously investing in your own oppression. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.